What's going on my fellow miners? Welcome back. Today we're going to test T-Rex Miner on my 3060 LHR version 2 to see what we can get because this is the new update that uh, that went through for T-Rex Miner. I want to see how it goes, how stable it is, how the temps are. There's a lot of things I want to compare to NB Miner. Uh, I've done some tests on NB Miner. You should go ahead and watch those videos. I'll link them at the end of this one. And I want to see what we can push out as far as hash rate goes on ethereum mining on t-rex miner because i know every miner is different they react differently to overclocking settings and all of that stuff so we're going to have some fun here we're going to test this out before i begin make sure you guys are hitting that thumbs up subscribe you guys and there's a lot of you guys who are not subscribed yet who are returning viewers to the channel i appreciate every single one of you hit the thumbs up and let me know down in the comment section are you using T-Rex Miner? Are you using NB Miner? What other miners are you using? What other miners you want me to test out? Or what other coins or algorithms you want me to test out? I want to hear it down below in the comment section. With that, let's go ahead. I'm going to set it up so we can get it mining. I'm going to let it mine and we'll be right back. All right, so I've had it mining for a bit on T-Rex Miner here. You can see um, I've messed with a couple different things and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, T-Rex miner, even with the being a different miner and all that, like it's it's still a power hungry algorithm, but it's it seems to be more stable. Okay? It's power hungry, but it's much more stable than NB miner is. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So here we go. Um, I've had it, I, I can get it stable at like 34 mega hash on T-Rex Miner with my 3060. If you guys can do it better, let me know down in the comment section below. I am more than happy to check out your settings and all that, but you got to do me a huge favor if you're doing that to give me detail like what you're doing into uh, into the batch file, okay? So this is the this is a different batch file. This is a batch file for MV Miner. Um, I was messing with that too, but uh, let me give me details of what you're doing in the batch file, and then that way I can duplicate those uh, those settings. So you can see here, right, right here, I can get it stable at 34, um, close to 35 mega hash, which is really nice. But again, it's a power hungry algorithm. Going over here to my overclocks, you can see it. All right, so I have the core clock turned down, and it seems to be fine, which is very different than what I'm used to on Ethereum, because most Ethereum algorithms I can't turn the core, core clock all the way down. If I do turn the core clock all the way down, then it drops my hash rate. But for some reason on T-Rex Miner, it's not doing that. Uh, the power limit, you can see right here, 85. It's still, it's a very hungry power, uh, or very hungry algorithm. Um, the temps are sitting solid though, unlike NB Miner. Again, I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one. Uh, unlike NB Miner, where NB Miner was jumping like, easily 3 4 C back and forth back and forth so it would go down to like 50 51 C jump up to 55 C and then jump back down to 51 C and it just kept doing that over and over again that to me shows a very unstable uh, a very unstable algorithm the way that it was working also the the uh, GPU clocks over here the core clocks uh, it was very sporadic right like right here you can see it going up and down up and down um, yes, that has a lot to do with the fact that I'm using it as my main GPU. I get that, but on NB Miner, it was it was doing it much more than this. Like the jumps were much higher than what you're seeing over here. And every time this would jump, this would jump five five degrees. So when you see that happening like that, that signs of a very unstable algorithm that they they still need to do some tweaking in that. Uh, the other thing too is the power limit where I have it set at, I'm sorry, I'm not looking at my screen here, where I have it set at 85 on the power limit. On uh, NB minor, I had it set around the same. The other thing too is I was trying to mess with it and I increased it to 90%. 90% did not change my mega hash at all. But if I go under 80%, it will lower my mega hash. So uh, 80 to 85% seems to be the sweet spot for it. For me, again, let me know down in the comment section what you guys are doing. Um, but you can see right here, it's sitting solid, pretty much at 34 mega hash. It, it does dip every now and then, but if I turn it down, I'm gonna show you right now, uh, so that way you know you can get some context here. 
So if I turn it down to let's say 75, right? We're gonna turn down the power limit to 75. And then you're gonna see that it's going to drop down to like 31 mega hash. And um, yeah, yeah, so that, that's why I said it's a very hungry power algorithm. So give me a second here, I'll wait till it, it fluctuates. Okay, well, it's not doing it like I wanted it to. Uh, for some reason, it did it before I started recording, but whatever, it's fine. Maybe it was uh, settling out, maybe it just had glitched a little bit, whatever the case may be. All right, so I have it at 70% power then, and um, it's actually running really well. So we're getting anywhere between 33 to, uh, where was it up here, 34 mega hash on 70% power, which then actually helps my temps out a lot. But again, like I said, it's a stable, uh, um, it's a stable miner, so it's not it's not fluctuating my temps drastically like NB miner did. The uh, the core clocks aren't fluctuating massively like the um, like the NB miner was, uh, and I have it set at seventy percent on the power. Now I want to test really quick the uh, the memory clock. I want to see if turning up the memory clock does anything here. So let's go fourteen hundred and. Uh, and then we can see if on 1400 it will, uh, did I just hit save by accident? Sorry. If on 1400 it will turn up the, um, turn up the hash rate at all. So I'm gonna let it go and I will be right back. All right, so here it goes. It actually started dropping now. So you can see it uh, right here, 31.25. Uh, 31.99 down here I think we got down to 30.52 so it actually did start dropping um, once we lowered the power limit so yeah I don't know I guess it just took a while for it to happen um, but that's that's it right there so even uh, even turning it up the memory clock to 1400 did nothing so uh, it's it's just based on the power limit at that point um, take that how you will so we're gonna go ahead and switch the camera back over, give some final thoughts on this. All right, so some final thoughts on the T-Rex miner for mining Ethereum with the LHR unlock. Um, I, I feel like I'm, I'm a broken record at this point when I say that the 3060 is not worth mining Ethereum on. Now, this might be different if you have a 3080, my you know, 3080 Ti, I could see maybe you know, it might be worth it with those because they do mine more efficiently. The 3060 is not it, man. The 3060, it's better off mining other coins. And I've mentioned those coins before, and I'm going to keep mentioning those coins over and over and over to just, I guess, hammer it in home for you guys. You know, if you are my, if you have a 3060 LHR version 1 or version 2 at this point, it doesn't matter. You're better off mining Ravencoin, Conflux, uh, Ergo, Ravencoin Lite, whatever right like you're better off doing those because you will those aren't restricted when it comes to the the lhr i mean ergo no ergo is not but the ergo mining for the lhr cards are weird uh specifically the 3060 lhr version 2 it's very very weird when it comes to mining ergo you guys have seen it on my prior videos if you haven't i'll leave the the link for the ergo playlist on there and and the whole ergo saga that that uh that we've been building up um the t-rex miner is more it's a much more stable miner than and and an, too many nbs nb miner is so i will at least give them that because that i i prefer stability so having a stable miner like that is a very nice thing um but again it, it doesn't make it any more efficient like we can so on the t-rex miner you can turn the core clocks all the way down on your 3060 lhr uh, on the nb miner if i did that it drops the hash rate so i you know i guess the miners are different in that regard as well uh so you turn down the core clock and i mean even then the power limit is still pretty high so i mean we're looking at 75 80 percent on either one um I mean, I can check LOL Miner if you want me to. I don't, I don't see the point at you know getting at this point because it's all you're getting the same mega hash regardless of the miner. And I know some of you guys get higher mega hash than I do, and that's cool for you. 
Uh, but every card is different. And this is what I'm getting. But be that as it may, it's just not worth mining Ethereum, to be honest. And just you're better off just doing something else with it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. As always, I read them. I respond. And I will see you guys next time, everybody. Happy mining.